What up, Techies and Gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming, and today I have an awesome gaming treat for you out there for all my gamers looking to get an audio mixer for your gaming, for your streaming, maybe even for podcasters as well. Then you clicked on the right video because today I have a nice, awesome new treat. That's right, this is relatively new on the market, and it is the Fifine SC3 Gaming Mixer for all my flashy techies out there looking to make a statement and to look a little low profile right and also without wanting to actually break the bank just to get yourself a nice cool audio mixer for your content creation right this is an excellent option also for content creation because it's nice and flashy and has all these rgb features built into it which a lot of the mixers i have just don't have so Five fine. Let's see if you're living up to the quality, which you have been with just about every piece of tech that I've reviewed from Five Fine on this channel. They have seemed to deliver from their microphones to headsets, and now they are delving into the manufacturing of audio mixers, audio interfaces. So uh, I'm interested in seeing what this is about, and I'm sure all my gamers out there are also interested in seeing this, considering it resides right in the budget realm so this is going to be very tangible and very real for everyone looking to look very nice and very professional let's take a look at it all right techies and gamers here we are with the official unboxing of the ampli game gaming mixer by fifine which i am quite excited to get into so let's go ahead without further ado and open this box up and see what you get obviously which what you should get in the first place is your sc3 manual that's right you'll need your user guide to let yourself into the door into the house the right way and this will get you all set up with what you need to know from start to beginning what devices connect to what ports and opening this full entire wow this is a lot of instructions so this is going to tell you what's compatible, what's not, what the buttons do, what they don't. So yeah, but if you don't wanna go through all these instructions, you can watch videos just like mine. And looks like you have a little cover here and we have our mixer presented to us in our face. This thing is tiny, tiny and super lightweight. It is made of plastic, everything's plastic all the way down to the sliders, except for your buttons down here, which seem to be more of a rubbery feel. And on the back, you basically have nothing but feet to prevent your mixer from sliding. For ports, we have several ports going on here. A nice long USB-C to take off the cover and USB-A, but this also will double into another USB-C as well. So you can effectively get USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to USB-A, however you want to flip it. Nice flexibility for use with this device. And the last cable you get in the box is a TRS to TRRS audio jack cable, 3.5 millimeter audio jack for connecting to your device as well as to an iPhone or iPad or other audio device because you have the three stripes on this side, two on this side. Full contents of the box. You get yourself a mixer, instructions, and two cables, USB, and an audio jack cable. And that's it. So very simple to set up, right? We're gonna find out. Let's do it. All right, Tech is the Gamer. So here we are with our awesome little five fine SC3 mixer for gaming. So, Maybe I'll keep this one and use it for my gaming sessions. I don't know. We'll see. But this is what it looks like once you have plugged it into your PC. It automatically jumps into this awesome, cool little RGB setup you see here. And this is already looking very pretty to my eyeballs. Very nice looking low profile device. Has a nice little wedge shape to it. So it allows the device to actually face you, which I can definitely appreciate all right so anyway what do we have here on this device there are quite a few buttons here and some sliders on the back of that we have our xlr we have our condenser and dynamic microphone switch so be sure to switch to the correct uh, microphone type that you're using for the best quality audio then you have a headphone jack here headpiece so it's good for your headset and mic for gaming so what happens is when you connect to this is that your audio will default to this microphone it will overtake the xlr and switch over to 
your headset mic. So just be mindful of that. Align in, which will be what you connect your devices that you want to get playback from, be it your iPad, your iPhone, your Android phone, and connect it to this jack to get music playback, for example. And then here is your headphone jack for monitoring. This you can plug in your headphones to to monitor your audio and all of your feeds coming to the mixer. And then you have the out, which will be going to an exterior device such as speakers. And then you have your USB-C connector, which is for connecting to your PC or your Mac. That's about the gist of all the ports that are on the back itself. And with that, we will look at what's on the front. A lot of buttons here and I like it. I like the colorfulness -ness happening here. Start from the top left, 48 volts. If your mic requires 48 volts XLR mic, then you turn it on. Then you have A, B, C, and D custom buttons for creating custom sounds with your microphone or a playback device such as your PC or your Mac. Yes, it will record and get input coming in through the USB-C here from your PC. So yes, this is a playback device and you can record audio that way for your custom buttons. It'd be nice if you can actually download files and import them to this device, but this has no memory to store such files. So yeah, it's just for immediate recording via mic or PC or Mac. Along the bottom, you have mute for your microphone, right? This is gonna be the mic. We're gonna test that in a second. This is your mute for your line in for your audio devices coming into the device to be played out and your mic monitor. So you can turn that up and down for your mic gain and you have your line out mute to turn off all audio going out to an exterior device. That, so that is like your main output slider here. And on the right, we have voice changers. There is a total of six different voice effects here, which is quite nice. We're going to go through those in a sec. And then you have your RGB control button, which will look nice and flashy on your desk to create your theme to match your setting in your environment. So uh, several modes of RGB. So right now this is just a color wave. It's kind of just creating this wave of color going through all the buttons. All right. So that's a color wave. Let's click it once. And we have what looks like a RGB. Well, a light transitioning effect going from one color to the next, right? It's going to cycle through all the colors. We click that again. We're going to have what looks like it looked like it pulsed. So it's probably a pulsation mode. Yes, it is in fact pulsing from one color to the next. And then next would be um, what's happening here. What's happening? It looks like it's changing in steps, cycling through your buttons. That's kind of a cool effect. I haven't seen that one yet. All right. Next is uh, is this solid color? Looks like it is a solid red here, right? So it looks like we're gonna probably cycle through some solid colors, solid yellow, orange-ish. Then we have like a green tint. We have a darker green, like a light blue, dark blue. This looks more like a pink magenta-ish color. And then we're back to the original color wave effect. Awesome effects for just about any setting you have. Right now we are on USB-C to my PC with this microphone, but we're about to make the switch over to XLR. Let's do it together, me and you. One thing to note when you're plugging this into your PC is that there are no manual drivers to install via the website. You plug it in, drivers automatically install. It's ready to rock and roll. So with that said, let's switch over to OBS. Awesome, we have our uh, AM8 right now over USB-C but we also have our SC3 mixer. So let's take a quick look at sound settings here. On your sound settings, you will want to have the speakers set to Fifine SC3, so that way you can get PC audio coming into the mixer, into your headset, so you can monitor that, and your microphone set to the SC3, right? So that is all said and done. Your PC is now making that the default active microphone. Now I'm going to make the switch over from USB-C, which is this top one, down to the XLR mode. We are now live with our XLR 
audio coming out of the AM8. Beautiful thing about the FiFi AM8 is that it's both USB as well as XLRs. I'm gonna turn on my mic monitoring, which is this button right here. When you click it, you just have to tap it once, lights up nice and white and bright, and I can monitor. But right now my monitoring is low, so let's take a look and bump that up to 100%. This is the audio quality you are going to hear coming out of this microphone via the audio mixer by Fifine. Fifine with Fifine, so right now I'm kind of getting the ultimate compatibility with uh, hardware coming from the same manufacturer. So awesome sauce. I can be completely Fifine out in my house and guaranteed to sound professional. The other wonderful thing about Fifine AM8 is that I don't need the 48 volts to power it up. It will be powered simply by connecting to it. So right now it is off, no need to power it on. Uh, could turn it on, but there we go. I will get some weird feedback because it probably doesn't need it and it sounds exactly the same, but I'll keep that off. But for mics that do need phantom power, you will need to use this. What can we do with this techies and gamers? I know you're excited about this, as am I. So let's go ahead and start off with, um, I guess let's just go through some of the features and we'll take it from there and freestyle our way through life. What? Switching on electronic will turn you into your first of 12 auto-tune modes that this device has. So right now I am on D, which I think will be the most pronounced auto-tuning, which will tune my voice as fantastic as I need it to be. So if I want to be an auto-tune singer singing in this place because I have a disgusting face, what? And you can click through all of these auto-tunes to see which one would be the best. Right now it's cycling through the bottom modes as you can see there. Testing one, two, testing one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I'm making my voice so high pitched. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I can, oh, it's kind of going through different tones. And if I want to be Bone Thugs in Harmony, I don't know if you guys know who that is. Auto tuning features for all my singers out there in the world. Sounds pretty sweet. All right, and to turn off these features, you can't just tap through it because it will just cycle through every last one of these uh, modes. So you have to actually hold it for about two seconds and it powers that particular mode off. All right, and then you have four custom buttons. I'll just demonstrate with the first button, which is custom button A. And once it turns white, this is when it's time to start talking because it will not start recording until the button actually turns white and you can record for up to 15 seconds. Pretty good. Let it go and it automatically stops recording. So you have to hold for the entire duration of what you're trying to capture in your recording and you press it once. This is when it's time to start talking because it will not start recording until the button actually turns white and you can record for up to 15 seconds. Pretty good. Not bad. I noticed that the audio quality kind of dips a little bit with the recording. It's a very, I guess, low sample rate. Sounded a little bit muffled. At least it killed off some of those hisses. You can also record sound from your connected device, such as your Mac or your PC or your iPhone, whatever's connected to it, and hold it as it's playing, and you can capture pretty much any sound effect you want. Next up is mute. You can mute your microphone. Uh, the line in mute, that would be the music coming in. You would mute that. Uh, monitor, obviously it's on. To turn it off, you just press it and your monitoring is off. Now I can't hear myself. And you have your mute of your out. So this is going to mute your entire output that is going to your line out, which would probably be like your speakers. So let's check out the voice changer. Now you just press it once and it will go into the first voice that is available. So clicking it once. I am now in the male voice. Does it sound like a male? I don't know. What if my voice was light like that, high pitched? Then it would sound like a male. <laughs> this just really makes your voice really deep. I sound creepy and sounds more like, I don't know, a monster or a giant troll or something. Next up is. Testing one, two. This is. The female voice, which kind of makes me sound more 
like an elf. I don't know. Santa's little elves. But if I had a higher pitched voice, it probably would make it sound like a woman's voice. So yeah, I guess you can do it depending on the octaves of your actual voice. I'm talking high pitched and it makes me sound like a whiny woman. What? Next up is... Next is the baby. Now, I don't know any babies that talk and sound like this because if you're a baby, you really don't talk. You just go, And last but not least is elder. They call it elder, I guess. If I was an elder, I would be imparting some supreme wisdom upon you because I'm your elder. All right, and to turn them off, you just hold for two seconds and you are off. And take it to gamers, that is the gist of what you have with this interface. Now, what I will say is that there is no Bluetooth built into this device. So if you are hoping to get uh, a Bluetooth connectivity going, you can't, you have to use an audio jack on the back. So that's just one shortcoming, but coming in at $49, $50, you're getting pretty much everything you need to be on the gamer side of the world, right? You have your 3.5 millimeter jack. If you want to connect it to your phone, your Mac or anything else playing audio, you can do that. You don't necessarily need the Bluetooth audio going through it. So, um, but I would like to see a new Fifine uh, mixer just ever so slightly more advanced and doesn't have to be bigger, but that will have actually that uh, Bluetooth connectivity as well as things like loop back for your PC, as well as noise denoise button, right? A hardware denoise button. Cause right now there is no denoise going. So when you're hearing me, you're probably hearing ambient sound, air, my PC fans. All right, Tech is the Game is what do I think about this device? I find delivers again. I do not have any bugs going with this so far. All of the buttons react pretty instantly from the voice changers to the auto tuning. So no problems there. I've reviewed some mixers where there is like significant delay when you're trying to actually switch between voice changing effects or any other effects, even utilizing some of the custom buttons, there is delay. So this one is seems pretty refined to me. Uh, these sliders are quite nice. I would say yeah, ever so slightly wobbly, but not a game changer. It definitely is super smooth and stepless. The buttons themselves are pretty responsive. I definitely enjoy the hardness of the buttons. They're not too mushy. Some mixers have these super soft, mushy buttons. And if you tap it in the corner, it may not register the press. This one, if you tap it in the corner, it will in fact work. Really enjoy that you can customize four buttons with whatever audio you would like to add to it. So again, I tested another mixer and they were all just preset buttons, no way to actually change or create custom ones. So I do like that you can create your own custom sound effects here, which is quite good. Super tiny, low profile, eight by five sized uh, little mixer here. Definitely travel sized, super light with it being mostly made of plastic. So awesome RGB. For all my gamers out there, you're gonna love the RGB on this while it's sitting on your desk, especially if you like to record your desk setup, your gaming setups, and you like to have this showing in the background. The sound quality coming out of the microphone via the XLR port is great. I would even venture to say that it's just as equal, not better than the USB-C microphone quality. Didn't have to do much tweaking. It does come in a little bit louder over the XLR via this mixer than over your USB-C connection. So that's just something to take note of. This is another to stay in my catalog. So if you're interested in getting this for fine mixer, check the link in the description. I'll have it there for you to get directly to it. No time wasted, all right? And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Maybe not. Nope.